before I start, just have to give a warning. My operating system is unstable, so if you do have some form of epilepsy, I would advise maybe uh, looking for a few minutes. Sorry about that, just have to give a warning beforehand. Um, right, so image search engine. My original proposal was to work it as much out of the NHS as possible. Um, people would upload images of rashes, could be stuff that they don't want to discuss with their GP, and it would filter back a percentage of what it could be. It's 70% this, it could be 50% that, you need to go to your doctor. Now there is something seriously wrong. Um, but because my coding skills aren't exactly what you'd call um, good, I had to work around that. So what I decided to do is try and work around a bit of both. I decided that I'd work around what I know. I like the idea of open source intelligence, so I decided to work around that 180,000 people are reported missing every year. That's, that's one person every 90 seconds. If we can try and reduce that, it would mean the world to everyone, because everyone has the potential of being affected eventually. So, the solution, code and too much code. I don't particularly want to go into it now, but it involves a very complicated algorithm, including what's that color? Um, so, I got a proof of concept here, have to be quick because I'm dangerously close to going over my three minutes. So, it, it, you choose a photo at the moment, it has to be done through the command line, it checks it against an 800 image data set and bring those back a result at you. So, if we look at the video here, we can see that those two images are exactly different and if you press enter, it will throw back different images that it believes is similar. That is probably about my limit as it goes. However, with someone who has a bit more intelligence than I, it would be possible to say, well, possibly as an analyst because I am a bit stupid. Um, how we can use it, medical investigations, as I said previously, could be used in a, any manner of ways. Uploading photos could be used to do doctor surgery to collate a massive API. However, I rather Trace Labs. Trace Labs is a system that is around the world that allows um, volunteers like yourselves to find missing people. <coughs> that data then gets collected and sent to the police. About 30 people so far have been found because of these events. Open source intelligence is a wonderful system, so if you haven't already, please turn your Facebook settings to private. <coughs> Thank you very much. Because you, you did do on some on a data set, didn't you? Of some rashes. It just brought back everything. Yeah. Because it works so, off a colour. Yeah. So if you had a hand, you had skin cancer, I think, didn't you? Or something. Yeah. Well, not me so it needed a much but bigger, but much bigger data set to be able to work on and be able to yeah. set. Or we just couldn't, just couldn't kind of find one. Any questions? <coughs> Don't leave me out now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think you, you highlighted a real problem with, with image searching, which obviously multi billion dollar corporations are trying to fix, which is that the, the different grading of colour um, is uh, hugely difficult, especially in medical situations where everybody has a different baseline. Um, have you had any opportunity to investigate how you would baseline an individual so that you could get some useful information out? I have. The way my system currently works is it separates the query into five quadrants. You have the four corners and it separates then an ellipsis in the centre. It then works off HSV colour balance, saturation and vibrance to discern different features. It then transfers every single pixel into a number into an Excel document and then it transfers that against your query. Any other questions? The next team up is... Ru Rupee or Rupee? Rupee? Yeah, but thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you.